everyone, welcome to my channel which is Complemental Economics. And today's class which I am going to talk about the third chapter, the third chapter of your syllabus it is production and cost. Right now the first question which is for the four marks, the question is briefly explain the isoquant. What is the meaning of isoquant and how exactly we are going to construct this? The isoquant is a theory, it is exactly like an indifference curve. Can you see this convex to origin curves? It is exactly like an indifference curve. So, this theory is, resembles exactly indifference curve which we have discussed in the utility concept. So, indifference map theory and the features of indifference curve we have already discussed. So, these are the one of the example theory of it. So, it is just like an indifference curve which we have discussed in the utility concept. So, isoquant is an alternative production function. So, whenever we talk about production, we have so many different theories and this is also one of the example, yeah, otherwise alternative theory for the production function. The production function is nothing but a technique how you are going to use your factors of production. So, what is factors of production now? The factors of production means the goods, the inputs which is really needed to produce any of the goods. If you want to convert input into output, so any uh, unfinished goods, raw materials into finished goods, so you need input. Which are those inputs? Uh, there are four inputs. So yeah, factors of production we call it as land, labor, capital and organization. So there are four factors of production, land, labor, capital and organization. For an example theory of a production function, right now we have taken only two inputs, your two factors of production. The two factors of production right now we have taken, the one is capital, sorry, one is a capital in the y axis and in x axis you have labor. So K1, K2 is all about capital, how much quality, quantity we are using a capital and how many, how many units of labor we are using that we express from L1, L2 and L3. So you have three isoquant curves here. The first one is Q is equal to Q3, Q is equal to Q2, Q is equal to Q1. Q here represented as an isoquant. So right now we will go with, so the theory. What the theory says, you have two combinations, you have two inputs, the two inputs you are going to use in the different combinations to bring best possible production. The first one says, the set of all possible combinations. So you have one side capital, another side labor. So with the different combinations, you are going to try to bring a maximum production. Ultimately, when you are into a production process, you are definitely aim is producing more, contributing more, using less of inputs and coming with the maximum efficient way and producing more and more number of goods. So that is the thing what is being a producer of what you want to. So that is why by using the best technique way, labor and the capital by using this, you always will try to produce the maximum production with the help of these two combinations. So the possible output will try to get maximum output in it. And the second point here, so each isoquant represents particular level of output. Each time when you are going to use any combination of capital and the labor, so definitely the production is going to vary. If you are using less of labor, less of capital, definitely output will be less. If you are using more capital and more labor, output is going to increase. So this way, any combinations, it's going to talk about different levels of output. If you are using less inputs, you cannot expect the maximum output. If you are using less inputs, so definitely output will be less. If you are using maximum output, so inputs, so definitely the output is also going to increase. So this way. And right now, the next point we are going to talk about that is the three combinations, any number of combinations you can go with. To understand isoquant here, we went with few of the combinations. First one, 4 L is 4 units of labor you can use. 1 K which is 1 capital, 1 unit of capital you are using. The three ways you are taking. You can use 2 labors and 2 units of capital. 
issue of money is limited the same way here in the production process with you investment is limited in the limited investment you have to alter these two factors labors and the capital you should be able to alter this simultaneously labor and capital both cannot be increased one should increase another one should decrease now so this way if you are going with so the three combinations you can go with one choice one option it says go with four units of labor one unit of capital so otherwise one more option you have you go with two units of capital and two units of labor one more option you have you can go with one unit of labor and four units of capital any of the combinations you can pick it depends on your taste and preferences what exactly your expectation is being a producer you have authority to think about which combinations you want to pick let me tell you any of these combinations gives same level of output the combination matters so different level different units of labor you are taking different units of care of capital you are taking but definitely output will be almost same so you have three outputs if you go with these combinations you can go with three different levels of output if you are going with this so what are the three different ways one is one level is q is equal to q3 the second one q is equal to q2 the third in the uh, isopant is q is equal to q1 three in difference curves you have so sorry three isopants you have so now first one we will go with the first one which is q is equal to q1 let me go with this in this combination you can see here what are the combinations i am using first it is tangent to this point so i'm using k2 yes and this line you are having l1 also so the combination says for q is equal to q1 what are the things combination i am going with k2 and k1 can you see here l1 and k2 l1 and the k2 so after this the same line you can see it here also can you see here it's again tangent so now what you are saying is you have k1 the quantity what you are using that is k1 and you have l2 and isoquant what you have got that is q is equal to q1 can you see this q is equal to q1 this is the output what you are going to get you can go with the two different combination you saw that the first combination is k2 and l1 the second combination is k1 l2 so the two combinations you are going with but you are coming with same output the output is q1 q is equal to q1 otherwise q1 so now we will talk about we are done with this so we will go with the next one which is q is equal to q2 so it is tangent here can you see so that means how much capital you are using you are using k1 you are using capital which is k1 and what is the labor number of units you are using which is l3 so when you are using this what is the output you are getting what will be the output which is q is equal to q2 a different output so one more you have which is q is equal to q3 that means it is higher than this to reach here so definitely labor and the capital both should increase both should increase can you see here to increase labor unit we are reducing capital so see in this combination we are using more of labor and less of capital which is k1 and l3 this to produce q is equal to q2 if you want this combination you can go with two combinations one is k1 and l2 and k2 with the l1 so the same in difference curve you can get the same output so now the marginal production the marginal production if you are increasing both you are increasing labor number also and you are increasing capital 
also if both are increasing so then the isoquant will be positive that time the isoquant the curves will be called as isoquants so that time isoquant will be positive if the marginal production the input what you are using that is moving in the opposite direction if capital is increasing labor is decreasing so if capital is decreasing labors are increasing so this way the isoquant will be negatively sloped so negatively sloped you can see here the curves are negatively sloped why it is negatively sloped because the investment with the uh, producer it is very much limited if he want to increase the capital he should reduce the labor number because with him the investment is really less so that's why you got the convex the isoquants are convex why it is a downward sloping negatively slope you are downward sloping the simple reason is if you want to increase the capital you have to reduce the labor see whenever you going to produce any of the good it is really not going to be possible you can say that i can use only labor then i my production is going to increase this is not going to happen if you going to use only capital your production is going to increase that is not going to happen one or the other thing should be increased both should be used but how much capital you are using and how much labor you are using that is purely in your hand you are the decision maker you are the producer you are the investor so definitely coming with a logical combination it is definitely in your hand so if you go with if you are a producer so definitely which one you will go with so definitely you will go with this one q is equal to q1 otherwise the best is q is equal to q3 the highest production output it will be here so to reach this you have to increase labor also and the capital also because we are not tangent here so best is if you go with q is equal to q2 that will be the best because it's a tangent what will be the combination for that that is a k1 and the l3 you have to go with to get the maximum satisfaction in this Your maximum production, your maximum output in this. So I hope you understood this. So exactly like an indifference curve, this also talks about utility topic. It talks about higher satisfaction, and this is talking about higher production. If you want to increase the production, you have to use a combination of labor and capital, both simultaneously. You cannot increase because you have limited investment. If you have a limited investment for one, another should be sacrificed. so then you are getting negatively sloped curve in that also which are the combinations you can go with and which one gives you the higher production or yeah, higher the output so you have to think logically and you have to take a decision so right now the isoquant topic is done with so in the next concept i will be continue with the production and cost topics which is the third chapter according to second pc syllabus thank you so much